things. How do you do? I do fine, thank you. How do you? Oh, I want to. You know, I've been practicing all day. Uh, good often, no. Good often, Damas and Helen. It's it's really not that I'm even nervous. I am I'm very moved by uh, what I've just heard this orchestra play and. Uh, I'm extremely moved, so I want to thank this incredible orchestra, this choir, and Maestro Rosé, because it's, it's the first time for me in, in uh, almost 30 years composing for film um, that I've been in a setting where a substantial amount of my work has been performed, and uh, I was not expecting the, the emotional response, so I apologize for that, but thank you. soundtracks and you work together with the biggest directors, um, you've done the biggest projects, biggest some of the biggest and some of the worst. <laughs> Any directors or projects you'd still dream to do or work for? You know, I, I suppose if David Lean were alive, I would love to. I think every composer um, here certainly would consider it to be a dream project to work on a, on a movie with that kind of quality of filmmaking and that kind of a canvas, so, you know, I, I still get very excited uh, every time I start a movie as, as if it were the first time, so, projects. Very often a director already has a good idea of the music he wants for a scene, I can imagine. If you have a totally different feeling, how do you cope with that? Um, you know, it can be, it can be tricky. Um, certainly, uh, I've, I've learned over the years, I think for, for the first 10 years I was doing movies, I really didn't care what the director had to say. And it was really an arrogant and a, and a wrong attitude to have, and I've learned over time that ultimately the job of a film composer is to serve the movie. And if you don't want to serve the movie, then you should write concert music. And uh, so when a director, as long as it's a constructive process, and uh, we're not sort of going to blows in the, in the control room, then I, I will pursue it and, and try and make everybody happy and, and do what I think is best for the movie. As we can notice tonight, your filmography is massive and impressive. But um, now, you're going to conduct the <laughs> Brussels Philharmonic. Um, how does it feel to conduct your own music? Uh, you know, I, I think I've done uh, somewhere 120, 130 scores and, and I've conducted one of them. So, uh, I think I conducted one and then I retired from conducting. So, um, no, I, you know, I've, I've, I've begun to do a little bit of it live and I, and I do enjoy it, but I, uh, I, I don't consider myself a conductor, I consider myself a stick waver. And that's, that's a very different thing. My stroke of saying is a conductor. But I'm sure he will be uh, leaving his orchestra in good hands. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. James Newton Howard.